Hey, what's up, everybody, man? So the word is that Jordan Howard is looking bad in Miami right now. His role has been constantly decreasing by the week. And, you know, when you look at his first four weeks of production, the man ran the ball 18 times for only 14 yards. That was good enough for this man to be a healthy scratch in week five. And it's crazy because when you think of Jordan Howard, you think of that running back that played for the Bears that was a pro bowler for his rookie season after hitting 1,000 yards and scoring TDs. He even had a solid second year. And even though he fell short of a 1,000 yards his third year, he still was productive. But I guess the Bears knew that he was falling off and they traded him to the Eagles where he still has some moments, don't get me wrong. But he lost his starting job to Miles Sanders and lost a lot of opportunities to Miles Sanders. But the Eagles, I guess they still felt like he could help out with their organization considering how trash they um they running game was last year they couldn't get nothing going but sadly jordan howard has not been able to come through i understand the o-line is trash it was trash last year you feel me but the thing about it is when it's time for him to actually make something out of this trash o-line he doesn't show up right here you got the lead blocker ready to block the man on the outside probably is going to seal him all you gotta do is run outside trust your speed and you can score but instead he cuts inside and guess what he gets stopped and he gets negative yardage on that play and then it shows again right here you got the linebacker right there in your face in the gap you should know by instincts and have good enough vision to know to cut outside and get the yards that's given to you and you got a receiver fortune enough to block for you, man. This could be a big game. But instead, he doesn't know any better. Hits the hole anyway. And in result, he only gets one yard. And then you look at his regular runs in general where he can do something. He just looks basic. Lacks explosiveness. No agility. He doesn't run hard. Doesn't really hit the hole fast enough. And he goes down a little bit more easier than he should, you know? The only time he looks good is on the goal line where you actually have to put in effort to score, you know? Plus, you're motivated by that potential touchdown you can get. Come on, you feel me? So, since 18 rushes, it's really a small sample size to really understand how trash Jordan Howard really is. I use Miles Gaskin. Miles Gaskin is the guy that's taking his spot as a third stringer. And, you know, he's actually put up some good production with this same old line so let me tell you how it's going first thing first is the vision is just better right here just the basics he knows that if he keeps going straight that man is going to tackle him in the backfield so he cuts back into the open hole and he's able to somehow not go down on his tackle stays up and gets a few extra yards same thing here the basics Knows traffic is right there, redirects himself, cuts back, and he's able to maneuver around correctly and get more yards than he shouldn't have gotten. And then when you pay attention to his runs in general, the agility is definitely there. You know, definitely moves quicker and faster, runs a little bit, well, not even a little bit. He runs harder than Jordan Howard. Like, come on, Jordan Howard isn't putting in that type of effort in his runs. And then he's definitely a more elusive back. He slips out of tackles at times like it's nothing, bro. Look at this play right here. He's able to make two guys miss with the stiff arm, slip out of that leg tackle, then quickly juke him. Like, Jordan Howard ain't getting down like that, man. And you got him as an option in the passing game as well. Like, come on. Why would they not start him over Jordan Howard? And then when you look at it from a scheme aspect, Jordan Howard just flat out does not fit the team and this is why he's the third string running back and this is why he was a healthy scratch last week it's pretty much that simple you feel me Jordan Howard is a running back that needs everything in place for him to even get yards if everything is not in place and it's not easy he's not going to look good they like to run a lot of out formation with him right um, sometimes they even gave him a tight end with the fullback in the backfield to ensure that the blocking is straight and, you know, he just lacks the skills necessary to be successful with this system. Um, does not have good vision, does not have good agility, um, does not run hard, no explosiveness, you know. He just he's just lacking the basic skills to succeed for this team. And then you can't really run him out the shotgun because he still lacks those necessary skills. Miles Gaskin, on the other hand, he can run up the middle out the shotgun. That's why they pretty much run a lot of shotgun with him. 
He can run up the middle of the shotgun. He can run the counters out the shotgun. He can run it inside zones, the zones, etc. Whatever you need him to do out the shotgun, he can do it. And then you can still put him in the backfield. No fullback, no blocker, um, lead blocker out the backfield. Or you can just throw him in eye formation where he has a lead blocker. And then he can still make something happen. And the thing about him is, it's not like the line is blocking better for him. He is just talented enough to be able to make something, you know, with you know, make more with less. That's 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 how you put it. He's basically talented enough to make more with less while Jordan Howard can't do that. That's why he starts and out the shotgun he can catch screens, flat routes, wheel routes, option routes, curl routes, whatever you want to call it. He can do that. So this is why he is the starter running back and Matt Breida could easily be the starter as well because they pretty much have a similar style, if not the same exact style. If you look, my, I don't even know what I just said, but if you look at Miles, what's his name again? Matt Breida. If you look at Matt Breida, look at his plays. Matt Breida also runs a lot of plays out the shotgun as well. So, you know, Jordan Howard just doesn't fit and I expect his role to be even more decreased as the weeks keep going on the only the only thing he's really useful for right now is the goal line because miles gaskin just needs to work on the goal line for me you know he is a little bit small but you know he does have some power so once he shows he can be effective in the red zone and actually put up touchdowns on the goal line jordan howard's going to be done man it's pretty much that simple so that's how i feel um let me know what y'all think in the comment section about jordan howard it's pretty much a disappointment but luckily Dolphins fans got better running backs that can put up production, man. But let me know how y'all feel. Like, comment, subscribe. And I got more content coming soon.